Как выспать? I just saw that I got a few views from Moscow, Russia, from South Korea, from uh, Philippines, Busan, <laughs> Bengaluru. Where is Bengaluru? I have to. Seoul, Sri Lanka. And it's only like um, 0.1%. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy I'm changing the geography to my YouTube channel. God. This is so good. Japan! I did it from Japan! <laughs> Sweden is here! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Okay, let's get let's get to the point of this video. Thank you guys. I appreciate ah! <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I was pretty much emotionally abandoned by my parents. I had to take care of myself and my younger sisters. I have four of them right now. And having the feeling of not having anyone to fall back onto my whole life forced me to work so hard to survive. Oni došli, kolega nam iz Španije, sposlao sletio juče, a mi u Bosni radimo, baš, baš, no, nismo 8 sati dnevno, ako možda 20. Even though I had a house, I still felt like I didn't have one. And that's one of the biggest reasons, initiators of my derealization. Being alone, having to fight for myself, depending on myself at such a young age. Having no father figure, no mother figure, just two people fighting each other every single day. Birthing kids in order to save their marriage, not for the sake of the kids. Then I left, I left my parents' home, and that's when the scary part started. I um, had to work even harder because I had no idea how much money I would make the next day or that particular month. It was so scary that my brain decided to numb all of my senses in order to protect me, because we had no, no more space to feel, because the very next feeling would probably kill us. So. That's how I got derealized. Too much going on, all by myself. No friends, no people to have a conversation with, no people willing to listen to what I feel and how I feel. And I accepted it as normal. I, I took that as a normal, very normal thing in my life. It's been um, almost eight years now since I've been derealized and the only way I could actually save myself was by doing the next three things. that got me sick in the first place. For me, that was both the physical place and the emotional place. I had to leave them both. 
I had to isolate myself from the very environment that got me sick. And that was my city, my family. Yep, I'll just keep it brief like that. My city and my family. That is literally how I ended up living in the mountains. Like around 30 minutes away, not too far. That's how I ended up meeting my boyfriend in the mountains, who then helped me get even further away from the people that caused me pain. And that's how I knew he was the one. And that's how I ended up living here, in his countryside, where we are planning on building our own house having kids and you know I finally learned what I want what I want out of life I learned that this is where I want to settle this is who I am I have to be surrounded by nature it's not just a personal pleasure of mine it's actually a must it's either the mountains and the countryside or nothing pretty much I live in the most beautiful part of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's, it's the most beautiful, period. No discussion. The emotional space was my job. I left my job, online teaching job, and I left my city. I moved to the mountains without a penny. first few months I stayed at my dad's hotel in the mountains where I met my boyfriend. I was far away from the city, far away from people, it felt really good. But it didn't solve my problem. The very first step, the step of isolating yourself from everything and everyone that got you sick in the first place, is the most important step. But it doesn't get you healed. It initiates the healing. The very second step is letting it be. Once you get away from everything and once you get away from everyone and after a few months or a year, you'll start feeling like you're not fighting anyone or anything anymore. The feeling is immaculate, it's beautiful. It's just nothing's happening. And then your body will be like, oh wait, nothing's happening? What do you mean nothing's happening? Yo, yo, we gotta fight, we gotta fight. And then you'll be like, no, there's nothing to fight against. Calm down. We're not in the survival mode anymore. And your body won't accept that. It won't have it. It will try to create problems within your head. Hi, neighbor's chickens. To make you fight them. Because that's what we're used to. The survival mode. And once you realize that, there won't be a single thing your ego will be able to do against you anymore. So you will just feel shitty out of nowhere. You won't even have a reason. You will just start feeling shitty for no reason. And for me, it lasted for like a year or two. Two years later, once I stopped feeling shitty for no reason, I got into this void. I call it the void because there's nothing happening there. My ego is not trying to ruin me anymore, but I'm not trying to heal myself either. This void is kind of boring. It's kind of boring, but you have to let it be. This is the second step. Let it be. You have to let it be because if you try fixing yourself as soon as your ego stops bothering you, you will fall back into the same trap again. So don't. Let it be. Let the void exist for as long as it needs to, okay? Okay. Oh my beard! Yes, I'm a 
Allaha mi koji mi stvorio. Pa neću se k njim kled. Naopako. Pa čurla nam ovo srce tamo. Na prozor. Crni mrak. Daka će biti. Znači, mahi nam je rečenica u glavi, gdje ću pičku i ću majta. Šta sad ti radiš? I'm in that void right now and I just stepped the tiniest bit into the third part, into the third phase of it all. And that's creating new habits that are gonna bring the absolute joy into my life. It's very crucial for you to know that you don't get to do this before you get enough of the void. The void is supposed to motivate you to create new habits. It's supposed to be so boring that you actually create new habits that feel super fun and that wouldn't ever feel fun while being derealized. Understand? So let the void be in order for the third phase to happen. And the third phase is, of course, the best one ever. Right now, I am enjoying creating this new YouTube video because it's my new habit. It's my new habit, just living the damn life. I made a couple hundred YouTube videos, bro. Did I ever once enjoy one? Nope. I'm enjoying this one right now because the void is over and I'm starting to feel present again. Which is the, the exact opposite to derealization. You start feeling present again. Have you noticed that I haven't once told you to try to fix the problem? Like in all these three phases, not once did I say you have to fight derealization. I said let it be. And that's how you let it go. Step number one, isolate. Get the furthest you can from the environment that got you the realized in the first place. Step number two, let the void be. Step number three, the void will initiate creation of new habits. It's not you who's going to fix you. And that's the only way. I know. I know that if you've been researching enough about this problem about this mental problem of ours called the realization i know that you have stumbled upon people saying yo just don't fight it don't fight it don't try to fix it because you will not make it exactly but they never once told you that you have to analyze it you have to analyze Hi. it and when you start analyzing you will realize that the very first step you have to take is to get away from people get away from the places and the people that got you sick in the first place period Everything needs organization, including this, including healing yourself from. I don't even like to say its name. I hate it. And guess what? Phase four is when you start feeling like you want to rush enjoying life. And no, no. Whenever you feel like you want to rush enjoying life, calm yourself down, slow down, enjoy what's happening at the moment. You'll see what I'm talking about. You'll get here. I promise you will. Don't worry about this being not fixable, because it is fixable. Don't worry. You will get healed and you will be as present as you can be. That's all. That's all. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped.
helped you lots. And I'll see you in the next one. So make sure to subscribe. Love you. Bye.